Well, this um, update on my patio is way overdue. And um, anyway, just to show you that it's a work in progress. <laughs> I have um, made some of these net things. And uh, anyway, it doesn't prevent anything from eating my plants, really. I mean, I've just had a helping of this Swiss chard. Um, I have got this uh, baby pumpkin plant which I've actually <coughs> tied upwards and I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do really and because um, these are going to get heavier There's a little one coming, you see. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. It's still in flower. And I'm, I'm looking forward to having a few of those. They can go in some soup. And here we have my art Jerusalem artichokes seem to be growing a bit. The potatoes I've had, not I didn't get many from there. Um, three <coughs> parsnips coming up at the back there and more uh, beetroot which not doing very well anyway the raspberries I've had which was pleased about here's a tomato plant that's gonna come into fruit a bit later but these are my four tomato plants and growing cherry tomatoes and I've picked 15 of these today and very nice And here we have strawberries, which have become prolific, I must admit. Well, at least the foliage has, anyway. And here... And uh, the runner beans. There are some somewhere. This has surprised me because at first I thought it was a, a pepper, but it isn't. We have a chilli plant. <laughs> and I offered them my neighbours, but anyway. I'm not sure they're looking forward to having those. <laughs> um, here's my... Um, sycamore tree and blueberries which I've had quite a few of and these are, these are I expected far more of these really but maybe next year there'll be more there's one that got away look and my blackberries I'm looking forward to them next year so <coughs> Oh, and down here I have planted some herbs which are now in flower and I know you're not supposed to cause them to flower but uh, coriander there oh no not there there <laughs> lemon balm which I've had in a tea which is very nice sage is coming up really well That's the basil that's flowering there, and chives there. And here is my attempt at a large sunflower. It seems to be growing since I took him out of the greenhouse. And, oh, we have a beautiful rose here. Um, these are about had it now. These violas. Uh, I need to replace them. And they're dianthus. I can't remember what this is called, but it's lovely. Some in a vase inside, and that with some roses inside. In a vase, very nice. And these are still flowering strong. They're lovely, lilac color. 
and uh, the slugs seem to like the cat, um, the scaredy cat plants. Anyway, there we are.